I'm hiking up right now to Cutthroat Lake here in North Cascades National Park. Cutthroat Lake is named after a murderous band of pirates who infested the lake in the 1890s. Some say their treasure is still to be found. Here's some pretty clear signs of recent beaver activity. You know, I used to work for the Park Service. People ask me what's on my hat. You can see it's Bigfoot. And he's reading a book. And then people ask me what book is he reading? I like to think it's the Monkey Wrench Gang. Look at that shit. And here at last, after an arduous hike, is this place of legend, Cutthroat Lake. After the core of discovery, and not a lot of people know this, Meriwether Lewis moved west with his bride, Sacagawea, and they settled here on the shores of what they called Paradise Lake. It was named Cutthroat Lake after they were both brutally murdered by a band of pirates in 1827. Should I go in for a swim? Do you double dog dare me? I'm probably missing something really good on TV right now. Do you see those bicycle tracks? I could have been riding like a king instead of walking like a damn peasant. I'm going to test the stabilization here with a little run. That's enough. Okay, nature people, can you tell me what's going on with this tree? And this really extensive pile of sawdust underneath it. Portrait mode. One time back in the day, I worked for the park service and I, uh, I took a bus to Wenatchee and my friend Stuman picked me up to bring me up to Stahik in the National Park where we worked. 
and we're driving around drinking beer. It, it was the 80s. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, at one point, Stuman needed to use the bathroom, so we stopped at a uh, convenience store or something. They wouldn't let me use the bathroom. The next day, we're up in Stahican uh, in his old pickup truck, and at some point, he pulls over and pops behind a tree to, to relieve himself. And he comes back around, and Stuman says, big smile on his face, he goes, that's what I love about the wilderness. It's one big toilet. <laughs>